Hi Scorpio, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2015. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you and I'll be using the Aquarian Tarot deck. And remember, this is a general reading, so to get details specifically pertaining to you, you would need a private reading. Also, to gain more insight and information, please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign videos because some months they will resonate with you more and make more sense for you than your sun sign will. So please be sure to check that out. Also, I'd like to add, if you're interested in getting your crystal reading for the month of September, uh, you can get that download and purchase at the link below in the description box. You can click on that link and it will take you there. Uh, you can also go to my website, which is theluckymermaid.com and click on the videos tab on my menu and there you will see the videos that I have posted for download and purchase. Last month for August there was the crystal readings for August and I also posted in the mid-month six months tarot love forecast for each of the signs. Now if you're interested in getting your crystal reading for the month of September please go to the link below or to my website. Thank you so much. Now on to your reading, Scorpio. The first card you have here today, Scorpio, you have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes, uh, this is an air sign male. This would be either an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This uh, card can also indicate a female, so don't be thrown uh, just because it's a knight, because with the knight of swords, this could be male or female. I feel like you're ready to capitalize on some big uh, financial gain getting ready to happen here, Scorpio. I feel that something's going to be brought to your attention and it's like the gifts of gods are smiling on you in your favor because I feel like either you find out some kind of information uh, or something comes up for you that turns out to be like, you know, getting the holy grail for you. It's some big um, coup, like a big windfall, a big something beneficial. And any of you that have been working on any projects, plans, or schemes of any kind to get something up and running or going or, or developing something, um, it's, it's happening now. Like things are moving, things are going, it's going forward. Some of you are going to be working very late into the night. I do feel that some of you Scorpios are going to be very tired and exhausted from your hard work and efforts and your labors, but I do feel it's really going to financially benefit you or pay off for you. And again, I keep getting the image of some of you uh, Scorpios working at night, like working, burning the midnight oil, like two, three in the morning, still diligently working away on something. For some of you, this uh, Knight of Swords is a problematic person from your past that's coming back to see you again. Now, that's not going to be the case for all of you, but it's coming up for some of you. And I'm hearing you're going to have to decide what you want to do about this. I don't feel like you're... Uh, like you have all the answers when they show up. Like, I don't feel you're like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing here. I don't feel like you do. For some reason, I feel like you're wishy-washy back and forth about or dithering about it. Like, what do I do here? I don't see it being a clear-cut answer in your mind. And I feel this person or someone, if it's not this Knight of Swords, but there's someone that's trying to put you on the spot. I feel it is this Knight of Swords. If they're the person that comes back from the past or somebody that you're, you know, is showing back up again, I feel like they're putting you on the spot about something. 
Don't get mad at me, Scorpius. I feel some of you may lead this Knight of Swords on and tell them what they want to hear, but then not really do anything with them. And that could be in a romantic, uh, love or sexual intimate sense, or it could be in a work related or, you know, job hunting, work related, money making business sense. It could be either way, but, uh, I feel like you're, you're going to, uh, lead them to believe, like lead them on a little bit and not really follow through with it. And I feel like you've gone over some things over the past um, few months with painstaking care, like getting things in alignment or getting things just so. And I feel like for some of you, you feel like this person showing back up or coming at you to talk to you for whatever reason and put you on the spot is like, messing things up and I, I feel like you're you're done with this you're not going to have whatever you're trying to get going you know uh, disrupted by this uh the actions words or deeds of whoever this knight of swords is to you whether it be a male or a female now on to the next card here in your reading scorpio you have the card of seven of cups now, Seven of Cups to me is a card that symbolizes this is scattering your forces, scattering your energies, scattering your thinking. It can also be uh, choose wisely from the illusions that are being presented around you. I feel that you've done a lot of things uh, recently under uh, like through trial and error. And I feel that you've started to work out some real details in your life of what is good for you and works for you and what doesn't. I feel like you've become a lot more in tune with yourself, a lot more um, understanding of like things going on and how they've affected you. I feel that you're going to lead the way or lead the team or lead some charge in some kind of cause that you're fighting for. Uh, this could be in anything. It could be a personal, uh, for personal reasons, leading a charge or a cause for someone you love and care about. But it could also be a bigger thing, like uh, let's not pollute this world anymore and uh, have, a, have it be a safe, clean place for our children that are trying to grow up. Could be about in the environment um, or stopping uh chemical plants or any kind of uh, manufacturing plants from dumping in, you know, waterways and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. It could, but leading the charge could be even leading a charge in the, in an account. Like they could put you in charge of production of something or managing other people or a sales group, anything where you could be leading the charge is coming up here. And I really feel it's very strongly for this month of September, especially after we pass the 16th of the month. I feel like you are going to be talking about a lot of things and promoting them, like giving things some press comes up here to me. So I feel like you could be, um, if you're good with advertising campaigns and promotions, I feel like you could be working on that, those kind of details. I also hear some of you are going to be troubleshooting problems comes up here. So for some of you, uh, you're going to be doing some problem solving, whether it be in your family or in a business and work related sense. And I feel like you're really concerned about everything. You want everything to run smoothly like a clock. Like I see you being very concerned about the precision of things happening right now. Those of you that are out of wedlock, either never married or have been married and divorced or a widow or widower, I feel like marriage is in the offing for you. Again, I feel like if you're a, if you're a, um, I feel like if you're a Scorpio that thought I'm never going to get married again, or I'm never going to get married, I feel the surprise is going to be here that you actually it, it is going to happen. And I feel it strongly from between like it comes up stronger for me for the year of 2016, but it really could start any time now uh, because it is coming up now. And I do feel some of you Scorpios are thinking about taking your family or your family life in a new or different direction. And you may be thinking about moving or changing your career. 
And I feel some of you are getting bigger and better spaces to take care of. So you might be getting, some of you might be getting like a big deluxe, you know, condominium townhouse or apartment. Some of you might be buying a bigger home or some of you may be dealing with like a bigger office, like getting a much bigger working space. And some of you may even be getting a farm <laughs> because I'm getting whatever it is, Scorpio, it's going to be you taking care of bigger, like bigger spaces that are also, you know, like a step up in some way. So that's coming up here with the seven of cups. Now, crowning your reading today, Scorpio, you have the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune to me is a card that symbolizes, this is the karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor. This is the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you uh, working together to put the planets and situations in alignment for you for things to go your way, to benefit you. I feel you've been in the mix of something where there's been a real rivalry, where people have been pitted against each other. Uh, this could either be work or family, it could even be friends, but it comes up more, um, I feel more, mostly work in this sense first. And I feel like you don't like where this has sent you. Uh, I feel like it's sent you spiraling out of control or into dark places in your mind. You haven't been happy of going there because I feel like this kind of pitting people against each other or rivalry or whatever has started up here. I don't feel like it's been making you feel good either about yourself or your life or your situations. I feel like that this has been causing inner turmoil with you, this whatever this uh, has been going on here. I do feel that you are, it's okay for you to take a step back and breathe a sigh of relief because I don't know to what situation they're referring to, but my guides are telling me that some difficult or bad situation uh, or difficulties of some sort that you had been going through uh, and pressure you were under is over. So they're saying Scorpios can now take a step back and take a deep breath and a sigh of relief. So hopefully you Scorpios are going to know what I'm talking about out there because I don't know what specific situation this is. Maybe some of you were waiting for a divorce to go through and now it's final or you know you had some crunch time with something to do deadlines or something to do with work or your home that was causing you stress but I feel like whatever that is that's past now I hear you're ready to seal the deal and cement it with a kiss that's what they said so wow to me I feel that is something to do with love and either engagement or marriage or some coming to some kind of agreement or understanding in love some of you are developing something that's going to be viewed by the popular culture, they're saying, and that it is going to become very popular, well-viewed, well-liked. So some of you that are developing something, you may be putting it on YouTube or on television or some other channel that uh, you can post things. I don't know, but I'm getting... It's going to, popular culture is going to like this. And it's something some of you Scorpios out there are developing. I do feel many of you Scorpios are working very hard to gain the respect of those around you. So uh, I do get that image again of burning the midnight oil and you putting your nose to the grindstone and really working hard at something. It does come up here again, Scorpio. So now, this is a very good card here you have next, especially in regard to finances, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles to me is a card that symbolizes, um, this could mean gain, getting an inheritance. It could be money coming to you through family channels like a gift of cash, but it can also mean being in a partnership or union, or like a marriage or a coupling, like a serious relationship together with someone, and the two of you generate a lot of money together as a couple. This card can also mean that. They say there's a big change coming in the air, like coming in the wind. Can you feel it? That's what they said. 
I do feel you're going to take a big leap of faith and dive headlong, head into a relationship that's either going to be a marriage or like a marriage is coming up. I do feel that there's a windfall of cash that comes to you. For many of you Scorpios, I do pick up a windfall of cash. Now, before they said that, they made a weird statement. They said, you're walking a fine line between love and hate. They're referencing that first. And then they say, but, I, but then they show me you on the line and you fall on the side of the line where, it ben where things benefit you. And that's when, that's when they said, you get a windfall of cash. So I'm not quite sure what they're driving at, but either way, it's a financial blessing for you. I do feel so many of you Scorpios are going to be working really hard to make your dreams come true. They're also talking to me about you eating grapes off the vine. So I feel like they're trying to show me that some of you are going to really have quite the nice life, or like have the good life, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Some of you may actually, actually begin to grow grapes and maybe make your own wine or whatever, but I'm seeing grape vines and you eating the grapes off of the vine and how sweet these grapes taste, that this is you enjoying the fr fruits of your labors. And I feel a lot of things are starting to, Turn around here and be on the upswing for you, Scorpios. I'm happy to see that because I've seen some rocky months in the past. Uh, all the signs get them once in a while, but you've had like some rocky months, I feel. I feel you're also going to organize a trip or a family gathering or getaway. Like you could be gathering a bunch of family members together and say, hey, let's all go to, you know, the Caribbean islands or let's all go to, you know, California and go surfing or let's all go to the Jersey Shore and rent a place for a week. I don't know. It could be anything, but gathering the troops together for some kind of vacation or or gathering or both comes up here with you Scorpios. I hear there's a new project that you must have and you must do like because I'm seeing like you're starting to get accolades through business and business partnerships, which may sound a little contradictory and, and work um, to what I was picking up in the beginning. But that situation hasn't harmed whatever success you've got coming to you. <laughs> I don't feel like it's a hindrance. I do feel like many of you Scorpios are gathering up your money, saving it and gathering up and collecting it together. And I feel like you're going to you're going to spend it on something major, either a wedding, spend it on a vacation home or just a elaborate vacation itself um, or something of like a helicopter. Even <laughs> I just feel like you're gathering up money because you're going to fund something that's of importance to you also comes up here with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel July is very uh, pertinent for you Scorpios about meeting someone uh, serious to get married to or live in a relationship uh, like that, like serious relationship. It either happened in this July that we just passed or they're talking about it can be the July coming. It just depends on where you, when you were born, because not all timing is going to be the same for all Scorpios, because you're not born on the same day, the same month, the same year, and at the same time. So your timings are going to be different somewhat. So your last card here of this reading for September 2015, Scorpio, you have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles to me is a card that symbolizes this is an earth sign male. This would either be a Taurus, a Capricorn or a Virgo sun sign, rising sign or moon sign. It could also be a female, even though it is coming up as a king. I feel like some of you Scorpios are working behind the scenes with this person to figure things out is what I'm hearing. I feel like you're ready to get something started. You've got all the plans and details worked out and you're ready for the jumping off phase. But I feel like it's connected to this King of Pentacles. And any breach of contract that was done 
to you, I feel those monies will be getting paid back and coming to you. They're talking about that. I do feel that many of you Scorpios are getting ready to come into your money time right now in the month of September because they're telling me this is your money time and they're saying you're going to start making money hand over fist. So if you felt like you've gone through some kind of financial dry spell or been struggling, I feel like you're getting ready to uh, exit out of that situation. I feel like you're making a lot of headway also with groundbreaking discoveries. I also feel Scorpios are making headway with their bosses or teams that they're associated with through work because I'm seeing making headway in all different areas. It just depends which Scorpio you are, but it does come up with making headway here on many important things in this month of September. Your knowledge is paramount. And your peak performance is of what's most important. Uh, that was a direct quote. So you need to think on that phrase. Because they're telling me there's not going to be like you kind of can't coast with whatever's going on right now. You got to uh, grab the bull by the horns or grab the ball and run with it. That's what they're telling me. So um, now's really the time to put your pedal to the metal, Scorpio, in this month of September. Uh, because anything you do and put all your creative forces, efforts and energies and intelligence and stick to and drive and will towards it, it's going to take off and succeed. So September, I feel, is a very big jumping off month for Scorpios. It's kind of interesting. I feel some of you are going to get offered a prize or some kind of stipend, grant, or loan. So look to that. That's money coming at you again. Like I said, either a prize or a stipend or a grant or loan also comes up here, Scorpio. So I hope this reading made sense to you, and I certainly hope it was of help. Thank you for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do appreciate that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you will be able to be notified when I post my mid-month Psychic Tarot updates and my monthly readings here on YouTube. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, uh, my Facebook account is the lucky mermaid llc because i post things there daily that you won't be able to see here on youtube and also follow my tweets on twitter if you would like to get the crystal reading for your sign for this month of september 2015 please go to the website in the description box below this video and you can also go to my website, which is theluckymermaid.com and click on my videos tab on my menu and it will take you to the page where you can purchase this month of September's uh, crystal reading. You can also get the crystal reading for August and there is also a six month tarot reading love forecast also on that page all for download and purchase so uh, if you're interested please check that out thank you so much i wish you an amazingly beautiful month of september scorpio and know that i wish you many blessings and peace